My name is Paul Brigner, and I am the head of Coinbase Institute. Today, you are going to experience a truly unique event, one that we believe is distinctly different from typical DC policy gatherings for a couple of reasons. First of all, we will be addressing a familiar, I'm gonna work out our sound issues here, we got a little bit of feedback. Okay, let's go back. First of all, we will be addressing a familiar policy topic, privacy, from a completely different angle than many would expect. Privacy, of course, means different things to different folks, and its meaning depends on the context. Until recently, privacy in the policy context has focused on how intermediaries handle the personal and private information of others. In contrast, we are here to talk about privacy from a different perspective, one that is made possible by advanced cryptography known as zero-knowledge proof technology that has been pioneered in the, block, in the blockchain industry due to its applicability to a wide range of use cases in distributed systems. This transformational technology that can give individuals, not intermediaries, control over their privacy is so new that most people don't even know it exists. But that couldn't be farther from the truth in the blockchain and cryptocurrency industry, where the world's leading cryptographers have been hard at work to not only make this new technology a fundamental part of a new financial system, but also a fundamental part of a Web3 based internet. The other reason this event is unique is it has been produced from a journalistic perspective, one that is intended to break down this very complex talk, top, talk, um, topic excuse me, into a series of sessions that makes zero-knowledge proof technology digestible and translatable to policymakers, not just cryptographers or software engineers. This is all thanks to the significant contributions by the team of journalists at Project Glitch who have developed today's outstanding program and worked closely with me to plan every aspect of this special event. Now for a couple of acknowledgments. As mentioned, this is an innovative event and I am very grateful to Coinbase and specifically to my boss, Faryar Shazard, who is a chief policy officer at Coinbase for making a significant investment in this event and for establishing the Coinbase Institute to do this important work in collaboration with the policy community. I would also like to acknowledge USC and the VanEck Digital Asset Initiative at the USC Marshall School of Business for making this beautiful new venue available for this meeting. And with that, I'll now turn the mic over to Dean Jeffrey Garrett. He's Dean of the USC Marshall School of Business and he's gonna give some short opening remarks. After Dean Garrett will be Eric Chung. He's the Managing Director of the Van Eck Digital Assets Initiative at the USC Marshall School of Business. Dean Garrett, thank you so much. Good morning. Um, it's great to see everybody here on a beautiful fall day in, uh, on the East Coast. Weather's a little different in California at the moment. We've had Santa Ana winds. Um, this is a convergence for USC of two really, really important priorities for the university. One is to be pushing the frontiers of computing. The second is to be connecting with industry and the policy community in this uh, incredible new space that USC now owns in, in DC. So the convergence of technology and policy, of course, is why you're all here. But I wanna let you know where it fits into um, my understanding of where the Marshall School of Business is going and where business is going. Um, we're clearly living in an age when technological change is creating opportunities that have literally never existed before than, and that we could never have thought of. So on the one side, the opportunity uh, square is blinking really brightly at the moment. But I think we all know that the, the pace of uh, technological change is so rapid that the societal disruptions associated with it or perceived disruptions associated with it are equally large. So as I like to say to our students, we're both in the opportunity and the responsibility business. And nothing is more focused on that intersection than our Van Eck Digital Assets Initiative. So at Marshall now, uh, combined with the engineering school, we have, I think, about 12 unique blockchain classes that our students can take. 
but at the same time, we're really focused both on regulation and on the ethics of technology. So this event obviously is, uh, is squarely focused on that intersection. Let me talk a little bit about it very briefly from an outsider's perspective. Um, I'm really struck by how important the blockchain crypto web three conversation has become in the presidential election. Uh, and I think you all know that, but I, I saw some of the data just about uh, the political contributions of, uh, of cryptocurrency companies as a proportion of total corporate spend on the election. And it's a big chunk, I can't remember the number, 20%, 30%, maybe you know the, the, the real numbers there. Um, but I think that's because the stakes are really, really high. And uh, I, I think uh, there's a, one, of the, one of the great organizations uh, associated with this event is called Pretty Good Policy. And I think that's a really smart idea because you all know that the likely government reaction to big technology disruptions will be dumb regulation. And I think we're all interested in good regulation. And clearly there are, there are lots of issues there that are really, really important. And certainly one of them is privacy. So I think an event that could show that the world of blockchain is not a place where dark things happen and are hidden from public view, but rather something that empowers creators and owners of their own IP to protect that IP and to have privacy from the bottom up, nothing could be more important than that. So for me, representing USC, representing the business school, and uh, being involved in the Van Eck Digital Assets Initiative, it's just a real pleasure for me to be here today. I have to say, looking at the agenda, my ability to understand any of it is near zero. But of course, I take that as a really good thing because it shows me just how rapidly the technology is moving and how on the cutting edge you all are. So uh, Eric, do you want to come up and talk a little more about Van Eck? But uh, as a representative of USC here, I just want to welcome you all to this beautiful campus and I hope you have a fantastic day today. Good morning, everyone. My name is Eric, and uh, I am the managing director for USC Marshall Van Eck Digital Assets Initiative, or VEDA for short. So, as Jeff alluded to, um, you know, VEDA has um, you know played a large role in making sure that this event is made possible because we believe that there is uh, a very uh, big moments that we have for this industry right now when it comes to our engagement with policymakers and regulations and uh, you know making sure that we have the proper academic expertise uh, at the table and engaging in those conversations so I'm just going to talk a little bit more about the Vanek Digital Assets Initiative itself and then uh, we'll turn it over to the rest of the agenda so we were uh, seated by um, the generous donors at Van Eck, Jan and Cynthia Van Eck, um, a couple of years ago to create a program that is, you know, has the simple mission of catalyzing digital asset innovation at the, within the USC ecosystem. So we do that in three main ways. The first is curriculum. As Jeff has mentioned, we have 12 courses now, ranging from DeFi to Web3 Entrepreneurship, uh, to smart contract development at USC. So we're extremely proud of uh, also launching the first uh, blockchain miner program to the engineering school. And you know we have some bigger ambitions to create a full-blown program uh, in partnership with uh, the business school and the engineering school. So on the curriculum front, you know we're super excited to start engaging in these topics in a much more structured uh, way to get students involved. So on the research side, now this is where you know, we are able to really engage with uh, industry and also demonstrate our academic prowess um, with a focus on application layer primitives uh, because we believe that, you know, with the characteristics of blockchain, we're able to have uh, properties like composability, transparency, all these things that are important that make uh, blockchain digital assets stand out as a technology, enabling technology. Um, we're exploring the intersections of AI and crypto, uh, obviously privacy, uh, payments and stable coins. And because of our location in Los Angeles, um, 
engaging with the creator economy, uh, with Hollywood and companies like Netflix, UTA, et cetera, uh, is always a big, um, you know, something that we're really leaning into uh, at USC. And finally, on the community and events front, you know, with things like this, partnering with uh, amazing people like Paul Brigner uh, to make an event like this happen, uh, we're super excited to continually engage, not just within the ecosystem, uh, upskilling you know, our faculty and students, and giving them resources um, when it comes to you know, learning about the landscape of digital assets, but also externally and making sure that we are you know, making a strong presence uh, in the community um, with regards to the things that we're doing uh, within the university walls. So, uh, you know, with that said, I am incredibly uh, impressed that, you know, when I first got into crypto eight years ago, uh, my first company was doing developer boot camps. And uh, over a span of two years, I had uh, been training 400 developers on Solidity development. And now we have the opportunity to have events like this um, and not scrounge through meetup.com, you know, and have to like pull together people just to, just to fill up a room. Um, now we have universities, you know, amazing uh, impacts that we're able to make uh, on the Hill. Um, the list goes on, right? The industry has come very far. So uh, I'm just really honored to be a part of this uh, through Paul uh, and uh, USC. And uh, I hope that this afternoon, uh, this morning and afternoon is full of rich insights for all of you, okay? So thank you very much.